Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to stop absorbing other people's energy. Well, especially negative people's energy. I'm sure you, I'm sure you want to to absorb um, the right energy for you, um, for your own growth. But now I'm I'm talking about energy that is that you do not need for yourself. I'm talking about um, the distortive type of energy um, that can drain your um, that can drain your own true source of strength. And just like what what goes on in our bodies, you know, um, there's, there's a war of microbes going on in, going on in the body. Um, there's a struggle for uh, for food and competition for different things going on there. So. I know um, from experience, and I'm sure we all know that there are some kind of, there there's people um, that are not meant um, well. Obviously, they're not meant to be in your life uh, because sometimes they come to teach us lessons. But if you have learned enough lessons, and if you're ready to um, to move on and to stop experiencing the same uh, the same types of problems, then these tips are for you. Uh, okay, yeah. First of all, of course, is self-awareness. I talk about self-awareness all the time, but that is number one. It's key. You need to be aware of who you are, of who you think you are. Uh, because there's a saying, there's a meme that goes like this. Um, who we think we are is why we do what we do. So everything you're doing, you know, consciously or unconsciously, is because of who you regard yourself to be. Your inner self image. So, if you are aware, you know, of who you are, and um, and you are aware of your direction and where you're going to, then these steps are going to be easier for you uh, to implement because you already know where you're going to. So, your interaction with anybody, you know, um, is always going to be in the form of a discussion. So, you you need to listen. Well, at least intensive, intensively, you know, throughout the discussion, um, you get to choose um, how long the discussion goes on. If it's a new, if it's a new person, uh, if it's an old friend, then you already know how to deal with them. So, the first, um, the first lesson here, you know, is to pay attention to how you feel around somebody. If it's an old friend, you, you already know how you feel around them. Um, you know if you want to talk to them all the time. You know if you want to respond to their um, to their calls or their emails or whatever. Uh, you know if you want to hang around them. But if it's a new random person that you meet, either in a meeting or wherever you are, and you want to gauge the person's energy, um, just let your body do the gauging first. Um, you, when the person starts to talk, their, um, their verbal and their non-verbal cues, you know, um, will always instigate a kind of reaction in you. Uh, it's going to make you feel a certain way. Um, so those first impressions count. And like they say, you know, th there's no, there's hardly a second chance to make a first impression. So... The way you feel that first time will tell you. So, you know, listen to your body first when you're around this person, um, when you're discussing with the person. Pay attention to how your body feels. Number two, um, you need to ask the right questions. Sometimes the body may, might not pick up, you know, if somebody is pretending or not because the, the, the body is the unconscious mind. So, and some people have mastered the art of deception they know what to say to make you to make your guards come down they know what to say to make you feel um, comfortable with them at first we have what we call master manipulators um, we have the narcissists and the people and the people that can charm others you know so it's not that difficult it's not well there are some people that, that know how to evade this first one I just discussed so you need to know what kind of questions you're going to ask the person because your questions um, are what is going to save you. They are going to, they will probably catch 
um, whoever it is, either off guard or they will excite that person, you know. So you have to you have to devise the kind of questions um, that will enable you to know if this person is going is um, is on the same kind of path with you, um, basically. So I'm not going to give you the questions here. Um, but I'll probably talk about some kind of questions that I ask people. Um, of course, the first question can always be, who are you? Um, for you to know who the person actually thinks they are. Um, and there are different ways to find out where somebody is going. And of course, listening to the discussion. If you're someone that's talking about mundane things or talking about the past, you know, you can gradually pick out what excites them and what doesn't excite them. Your job in this world, you know, is to analyze people and to analyze events and to analyze um, your environment. Um, to be aware of everywhere you're going and what, uh, what, what your interactions with people actually mean to you. That's what you should be doing. That, that's what your brain and your mind is there for. Is a, a filtering or screening machine. And that's what you need to use it for. Um, yeah, then number three, you need to learn how to say no. If you're an empath and you're on this journey, uh, like I was or I used to be, or I don't know, maybe I still am, <coughs> then um, saying no is one um, thing that, uh, that can save you from absorbing anybody's energy. If you're a people pleaser, I didn't mean to say empath, okay, yeah, they are, we're all connected in the same way. If you're a people pleaser, um, that always wants to make people happy and you know keep people um, uh, keep people close to you, make people want to feel that you're a good person. Uh, you need to understand that saying no doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Saying no simply means that um, that 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 you want to conserve your energy, um, so you don't have to go everywhere you're invited to. You don't have to attend every drama that is on display, um, you know, in the world. So it doesn't matter who is calling you, um, you just need to learn how to say no. Especially when you need to be alone, when you need to recharge your batteries. Um, by saying, by learning how to say no, you save yourself a lot of stress, um, a lot of drama. I know you'll be thinking, you know, that maybe you're going to miss out on one opportunity or the other. Um, but it's better for you to analyze, you know, and... Um, and really think about where you know where you're going to or what you're going to do or why you have to do that thing for that person um if it's if it's go if if it's not i'm not saying it should be very i'm not saying it should be selfish to the extent that you cannot um do what you can for people but if it is something that you do not have the energy for currently uh, you know i would advise you not to do it and um to conserve your own energy basically for more useful things um i've always fallen victim of that i take um tasks or jobs from people and you know that um <laughs> that i shouldn't have because uh it, just, it takes my time and it takes my it drains my energy basically for nothing and i'm learning how to say no more and more and that's how i can conserve my energy and not take up people's um, people's own problems that have nothing to do with me so that's the truth just re remember you can't please everybody um your job is not to make it's not to please everybody in the world that's not what you came here to do you came to add value and the only way you can add value is by um is by giving off your own value you know to the world and if you really want to um give enough value then you need to find a way, you know, to replenish what you're giving out. And the, so you need to be able to gauge your own level, you know, of energy. Um, know how much energy you have, how much is uh, drained. Um, if you need to rest, if you need to shut down yourself and restart, you have to do that. If you need to put your, if you need to sleep, you know, you need to, it's just like a computer, you know, you have to, you can click sleep on it so it, so it, so it sleeps. Uh, you need to recharge the battery, 
just like a phone or a, or a, or a computer. Um, you need time to study. You need time to reflect. Um, you just need to plan your day, basically. And if you have a planned out day, then you you understand that you can't take up work, you know, that um, that is not advancing what you're here to do. Yes, you can. You should help people where you can um, for free, depending on where, on what um, what stage of the journey that you're in. If you can create free time for somebody, and um, but it depends on the kind of work too. So everything just everything will depend on your judgment. Uh, you know, you know uh, who you can do it for and who you should not do it for. Um, you should be able to tell by now um, who is making uh, a positive impact in your life, or who you believe is going to make that kind of that impact in your life, and who doesn't. Um, you can feel the people that drain, the, the takers that don't give. You already know them. Um, but this video is like a mix, you know, of when you're meeting new people, and for old people it's easier. But when you're meeting a stranger, to know if you're going to admit that person into your life. Um, which, of course, um, as you grow older, we do less of. Uh, but yeah, that's the message for today. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.